All right, so welcome to our Bio 110 Cell Biology Basics course. This is for fall of 2020. You can see that we are meeting. It's a late start class starting on 921, September 21st, and it goes all the way to the end of the semester, December 18th. Uh, my name is Professor Hubbard or Brandis Hubbard. My email is there at bahubbard at sc4.edu. Uh, I do put that there so that uh, perhaps that's easier to remember to access. However, uh, as we move a little bit further down here, I actually prefer that you email me through the Canvas app. Um, so rather than just going to your personal email or your SC4 email, it shouldn't be your personal email anyway, but um, your SC4 email that you, and then typing that in and sending it to me, what I prefer is that you go through the Canvas app. Uh, and that's because Canvas actually just keeps um, all of the emails and all the communications and everything having to do with each student kind of in its own section. And so it'll be easier for us to find emails if we need to go back and reference them or, or get certain things from them um, if you send it through Canvas. So it's just a little bit more of an organization tool. Uh, my office location, um, I will be doing my conference hours, which I'll talk about in just a moment, um, <clears throat> online via email, and I can also do Skype if that is preferred. Um, my on-campus hours, I don't have any on-campus hours this semester, um, but if you do need to meet, um, prefer to meet, um, my office is CEM206, and we may or may not stay in that office while we're doing the office hours, depending on what's available as far as social distancing. Um, but I will be available via email and Skype during those conference hours, which is the next line here, um, online from Wednesdays or on Wednesdays from 12 p.m. until 2 p.m., so noon to 2, and then on Sundays in the evening uh, from 6 to 8 p.m., and of course, like I said, additional times by appointment. So even if you want to meet online um, but can't make either of those two chunks of time, you can always contact me and we can come up with a time. That said, the next line there, the Remind app, is for texting. Um, and I am nearly always available for texting. Of course, there are exceptions, sleep times and such, um, and sometimes I am unavailable. But you do not have to wait for my office hours in order to contact me. So I do ask, this is a requirement of the course, that you download the free Remind app that's available at that link, the Remind app link and that you download, download that to your phone or download that to your tablet if you have one. Uh, you can also just download it to your computer. So whatever you have available to you, I recommend that you put it on that, um, whatever's easiest for you. Because once you download it, you can set it up. Uh, you'll go into our class. So if you're setting it up on your smartphone, you'll want to just go and send a new text. If you send, so you need to download the app first on your phone. Then you can send a text to 81010, so that would be like the telephone number. And then in the message where you would be writing hello, et cetera, you would actually just put at bio 11020F, which means at bio 11020F, and then click send. Um, as soon as you do that, it automatically enrolls you into the Remind app. Now, the way the Remind app works is that on your phone, you can go to the Remind app and then you can text me or you can text other students in the class. And what this does though, is that it makes it so that your telephone number is private. Nobody knows your telephone number. Nobody knows my telephone number. And we can all text and we can communicate uh, if we choose to through this Remind app. Um, so I am available through Remind. <clears throat> uh, that's kind of skipping down to the contacting me piece. I am available uh, via text, via Remind, or email. Those are the two best ways to get in touch with me outside of class or outside of my conference hours. And even in my conference hours, because this semester I'll be fully online, um, emailing me and texting me during those periods is when you'll be able to get a hold of me quickest. So you can text me using the Remind app, <clears throat> excuse me, um, or you can email me via Canvas. And I do check my phone multiple times a day, and I usually respond within 24, 48 hours, um, except possibly weekends if, if I am out of town or um, you know where I don't have service or something like that. It may take me a little bit longer, but oftentimes I get back to people fairly quickly. So um, I do recommend that you don't wait for the office hours, of course. You know, if you want more one-on-one, -on -one, you know, non-distracted time, maybe that's a good option. Um, but as you're studying and as you're working through the material, as you come across something and as you try to research it and look up the answer, if you're still unsure and you want to contact me, feel free to do that in that moment while you're working on it, while it's fresh in your brain and, and while you're going through the assignment or whatever it is. So 
um, I would prefer that so that I can be available to you so that it's, it's right there at your fingertips. Otherwise, um, if it's a question that can wait or is course related or something doesn't need an immediate answer, uh, there are also my online conference hours. You can text me or email me at that time.